Hello everybody, let's go ahead and get started with a Cancer Full Moon reading. What is the most important message that the collective needs to hear right now? What is the most important message? Okay, fourth house. So we do have the home, the family, which is totally under that fourth house energy. Cancer is about home, family, nurturing, uh, the mother, okay? It's about even working from home. It could be the four tires of your car. Um, yes, Cancer also rules the tires of your vehicle. Um, so what else do we got here? Cancer, full moon. We got, okay, yeah. So this could be the challenges, petty arguments, petty fights, quarrels, um, you know, competition. For some of you, this could be about building a home as well. And you're waiting for the building of this home to, uh, to come together. Okay, we've got the nine of uh, swords, excuse me, fell over on its side though. So is there something that you're worried about? Something that's keeping you stressed out? Of course, family will do that to you. It is the holiday times. Uh, what do we got? Okay, for some of you, this has to do with your finances. Because this could also have to do with some type of an offer or even a gift. You know, we can be kind of stressed out around, you know, the holidays because of gift giving. You know, it can cause arguments and fights. Somebody didn't get enough or, you know, horn honk. I don't know if you just heard that, but that was, yeah. So, again, silliness, you know, but... There's also things that are getting brought up too around the full moon, you know, that can come to the surface that also need to be healed. They need to be washed away. Full moons are about endings, completions, things that maybe were hidden are now coming to light and uh, it will have a lot to do. Yeah. About our happiness. So we do have the sun in the reverse and sun in the reverse is just not seeing things clearly again, waiting for something to be illuminated um, you know, not really quite feeling the happiest right now because in the upright, this is about your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. It's the happiest card in the freaking deck. It's the yes card to anything, any question that I did not answer. And it's not that it's not still there. It's just that, you know, there's just a little bit of a dullness right now. There could be, you know, because the nine of swords can be about that dullness of, you know, maybe things that you're not seeing right now because the light hasn't shined down on them. It's not illuminating right now, okay? So, Spirit, please show me the Cancer full moon for the collective. What is the most important messages that the Cancer, or that the collective hears with, about this Cancer full moon? Okay, we do have the Page of Swords, but it did show up in the reverse. So, Page, in the, page of Swords in the reverse could also mean somebody who is spying on you, uh, somebody who's keeping a close eye on you, they're not talking to you, they're just keeping an eye on you, okay? So from behind the scenes, and maybe what they're seeing from behind the scenes is, you know, they see you, you know, happy and partying and, you know, doing all these things because on the surface it can show one thing, but I don't think that they're being fully illuminated to what's actually going on underneath the surface. What's going on underneath the surface, because this is what grounds you, is the Nine of Swords. So it's like, you know, you, they might think, oh, you're doing well financially. Oh, everything's just hunky dory. Some of you might, they might even think that you've moved. Uh, they don't really know what's going on with you. They're assuming they know what's going on with you because isn't that such of a child? A child doesn't know any better than to assume. And, you know, we all have that childlike aspect within ourselves. So spirit, please show me the collective. What do we got here? So we've got the page of cups. Um, in the position of how people are seeing you. Uh, I do feel like somebody here is wanting to offer up some type of an apology. Again, they are spying on you, but here comes the communication. Somebody uh, heading in quick, fast, and in a hurry to say something to you. It could be something very uh, abrupt. It's going to come in very swiftly, and it's going to, I feel like, clear up some of this information. Oh, yeah. This person's going to want to see you face to face. I feel like they're going to want to sit down and have a talk with you. It's almost like they're hoping that that will happen. And we've got the Ace of Cups as the um, outgoing message with the Queen of Wands as the overall energy. So this Queen of Wands is someone who is very connected to the occult. She has her black cat here, as you can see. She is a go-getter. She's outgoing. She's, you know... Uh, for some of you, I get birthday there. You know, this could be around somebody's birthday. Uh, 
I just got hired for somebody's birthday. I don't know what that means for you. You might know what that is. Um, you know, I don't know if you're an entertainer because we do have the sun here and this could be where you're going to someone's house to work. Okay. I'm getting that as well. I get traveling. That's a side note when it comes to work, but all in all, I feel like with this cancer full moon, because that is what we're asking about. So it could actually do well, you know, for certain areas, uh, especially if the sun is in your sign right now. Signs I'm getting is Cancer, Leo. So funny that Cancer comes up because we're in that Cancer full moon. Cancer full moon energy. And we have Cancer here, the chariot. I just see someone here, this Queen of Wands here, who is, you know, I feel like her challenge is just to stay out of conflict. You know, avoid it at all costs. She's avoiding conversations she's not ready to have. You know, I feel like if anybody's reaching out to her, you know, she's a little on the fence as to like what it is that she wants to do. It is kind of stressing her out because it's like this queen of wands. She is in the upright. This page of swords is the one in the reverse. So someone here with crosswords who wants to come in and be mean, you know, they might start off as sweet, but then all of a sudden they have harsh words. I feel like harsher words need to be spoken regardless it's almost like it it it's almost like keep the energy as light as possible but there are going to be heated moments when there is a conversation but what it leads to is some type of a victory and happiness and love But it's like you can't avoid it. I feel like it, there is no avoiding it. It just doesn't need to be so hot and heated. You know, tone it down a notch is what it's saying, you know. For some of you, this could happen when the sun is going down. I get that like you're going to get some type of a message when the sun is going down. So what around dinner time? You know, whenever the sun starts going down. I see someone here with a gift for someone too, with the Ace of Pentacles. Like someone here wanting, you know, that has a gift that you might find out they want to call, call, they might call you and say, hey, I have something for you. I'm coming by. And it's something that makes you very happy. Let's find out. Let's find out what these are. Let me use this thing. All right, spirit. So please show me what is this queen of wands? What is the queen of wands here for? Queen of wands. She's the star. Queen of wands is someone here who has hope. She's a star. Like, you know what I get with her is like, she has there's something that she's wished for and it's almost like there's this wish that she feels is not coming true and it's because she doesn't see it happening because it hasn't been illuminated yet but like she's trying to stay positive she knows that there's a new beginning around the corner for her because I see her with that sunflower there. The sunflower and the star. It's almost like this queen of wands, she has a reason to toot her own horn. Toot, toot, uh, really. Like, you know, it's almost like she's tried to dull her shine. She doesn't want to be in the spotlight right now. She's not trying to be in the spotlight right now. Maybe she's in hiding right now for some of you. You could be in hiding right now. Yeah, look, what's behind her? Conflict. Walking away from people, places, and things that don't serve a purpose. Walking away from petty arguments, petty fights, which is here. But 
there is an apology. Like someone here just wants it all lighthearted. What's the four of wands? What do we got here? Four of wands landed in the upright. It's the 10 of pentacles, four of wands, 10 of pentacles. This is the things that have built up, been built up long-term. And like I said, 10 of pentacles is family, you know, four of wands, 10 of pentacles. This is like, you know, family get togethers, you know, fighting and, you know, bickering at the table, you know, or, you know, family feuds. Yep. We have 10 of cups down here at the bottom of the deck as well. So definitely very much family vibe traveling to come and see family. Someone here stressed out, not wanting to have anything to do with family. <laughs> I know that one. Five of wands spirit. What is the five of wands? What do we got here? Five of wands. Yeah, we've got the sun and the nine of pentacles. Yeah. And they're both in the reverse. So we've got the sun in the reverse on this deck. And we have the sun in the reverse on this deck. It's like just something here. The five of wands is something here that just doesn't make you happy. It's not like, it's not anything that you want to invest in with the nine of pentacles. You're like, I'm just done investing in this kind of crap. And full moons are about endings and completions. Like, I'm just ending this. I'm ending this cycle. I'm ending all the things that stress me out. I'm ending it. It doesn't make me happy. You know, it's not with, you know, she wishes that things could be different. With the queen of wands here with the, st the star, she makes wishes that things could have been different. And she still has hope that that can change. But it's all in a matter of timing because the stars have to align. The stars have to align. Maybe the sun needs to be in a spe specific spot in the zodiac or at a certain degree for this to all play itself out. What is this nine of swords? What is the nine of swords? What is it she's worried about? Yeah, five of swords, 10 of swords and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, like, is this ever going to end? Is this conflict ever going to end? You've got the wheel of fortune, which is a number 10. You have the 10 of swords, which is somebody here who has been stabbed in the back. And then you have the five of swords, which is the petty arguments, petty fights, the conflict, which is what I showed you here. Five of swords. This is what the five of swords look like. No one here is a victor. No one here is a successor. No one here feels good about their win. They're just putting down their swords and saying enough is enough. And I feel like that's what this queen of wands has done. She's put down the sword and said enough is enough. You know, like no use beating a dead horse. No use beating a dead horse. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, is this ever going to end is what I hear. Is the backstabbing, the treachery, the arguments, the 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 gossip, is that ever going to end with the Wheel of Fortune? Like, it's like to this point where it's like, oh my fucking God. It gets old, you know. I, I, I It gets old. I understand this. What's this Page of Swords? Why is this Page of Swords in the reverse? Ooh. These ones want to come out so bad, but there's so many already. God dang. Okay, that one came out. Okay, those two came out. And these two came out. So let's see. Yeah, five of wands. Again, there's the five of wands. Petty arguments, petty fights. Three of cups with possibly three other people. Two of pentacles, ace of pentacles. About some type of an offer. Some type of an offer that was never, you know, expressed. Five of Wands over what? Petty arguments, petty fights between the Three of Cups, maybe even gossip about somebody. But I'm going to tell you right now, you guys, this Queen of Wands is the one that's in the upright. So whatever is attached to this Page of Swords, it, the Page of Swords is what's looking over at the Knight of Swords and what is right next to the Five of Wands. Queen of Wands is on in the upright. So... There is something here. It's like competition. Someone here competing with someone else. The 
Queen of Wands knows she's a star. She ain't competing against nobody. She's even just pulling back her energy with the sun in the reverse. That's, you know, your vital force energy. She's like gearing up for something right now. What is the pay, uh, the Ace of Pentacles? Because the Ace of Pentacles in the recent past is like, you know, a, a gift. So it's a King of Swords in the reverse. So yeah, someone here who just didn't communicate. Now there's a King of Swords here. Again, the Ten of Cups. So yeah, family. Seven of Swords. Ew. And the Eight of Pentacles. Yuck. I feel like this is another person too. I just feel like this is a really toxic family. <laughs> That's what I get out of this. It's almost like, you know, this dude over here, King of Swords, Ten of Cups, you know, that's another family dynamic that, you know, there was some liar, lies and, you know, treachery. Maybe the, even the King of Swords lying about this Queen of Wands over here, uh, you know, and it could be just people in the family lying about one another because they're mad that this person, you know, maybe didn't give to them the way that they felt like they should have. So because of that, they go out of their way to, you know, make this look person look bad. And it's kind of ridiculous. What's the sun in the reverse? What's the sun in the reverse? Eight of swords, not having enough clarity to know what to do. Eight of Swords, you know, someone here like head and heart decisions, you know, blocked out of fear to move forward towards their own happiness. What's this Page of Cups? What's the Page of Cups? Justice. Someone here wanting to, uh, wanting to seek justice in a situation. Someone here who wants to, like, feels like there's an, an apology needed. Somebody here is owed an apology. I just got confirmation on that. Someone here is owed an apology. What's this Knight of Swords? So is this Knight of Swords going to come in and give that apology? Okay, what do we got? Ten of Wands. Yeah, someone here wants to put on a... put. Oh, someone here walking away. Someone here wanting to come back to uh, put down a burden. Someone here knowing they need to travel back to the past in order for them to... Uh, it's almost like to bring that justice, to bring that balance, that fairness... Yeah, to the Five of Pentacles, maybe to somebody they left out in the uh, cold. I feel like what happened here is somebody has like figured out some type of a truth. Someone in the past kept a truth that could actually help this move along. And it's almost like this Queen of Wands here has had this, you know, like this, this cloud that has been hanging over her head for quite some time because of lies that have been told from something in the past. It could have, you know, buried, even even taken away from her financially with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here. Oh, man. And we have children here with the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups. And then it looks like a bunch of children right here in the Five of Wands. Yeah, there needs to be justice brought forth because this Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, you know, it's almost like this person has had to wear a jacket for a really long time and is almost being cleared of the crime. And it's like now all of a sudden they're going to get this message that comes in and it's going to come in fast. What is the chariot? Queen of Cups, Six of Cups. Yeah. So someone from the past, this could be a family member, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. We do have strong cancer here. Someone comes back in. Someone from the past wants to get back together. They want to meet up in person. What's the Ace of Cups? Page of Pentacles, Seven of, Pen or seven of Cups. It came out in the reverse. One more for the Ace of Cups. What is this Ace of Cups? The Chariot. Yeah, see, somebody wants to get back together. Someone is really just not accepting anything anyone has to offer. 
with the four of cups and four of pentacles, the ace of cups, you know, is like, it's almost like they choose themselves. It's almost like they choose their own happiness. They, they're happy the way things are, you know, it may have sucked, but it's like, you know, I appreciate your apology, but you took too long. And now I've learned how to live without you energy. And I feel like it, it like burst this person into a whole new movement. Like all of a sudden their finances look better. They get a new car. Finally, they get a new home. I just got confirmation on that. They get a new home. Maybe they finally get what they were owed with somebody had stolen from them, their hard earned money. I feel like, you know, this person wants to come back in and they, they want to explain what happened. I feel like all of it comes back around, but I feel like it's because she stands in her integrity all along. And she's looking over at this, this chariot here. And, you know, it, it was a hard earned, you know, but hard won battle was what it was like. It was like she went into a battle because that's what chariots do. They go into battle. You know, they blaze through, you know, swords and all. Sades, uh, swords blare, are blazing and or guns blazing and swords drawn. And, you know, they've had a, a long, hard battle. And even if it was a mental battle, if it was an emotional battle, which I see that it is, because at the end of the day, the Ace of Cups is like, she gets what, like the truth is revealed because we do have the Knight of Swords here. So some type of truth is, is brought in and it was something that was suppressed with this Page of Swords here. But at the end of the day, she's just happy that it's out. She's happy that, because I feel that with this eight of, or the sun, I feel like it does get illuminated. Yeah, two of cups. It's about some type of relationship. King of cups, yeah, queen of swords. Like I said, some type of a relationship. You know, I feel like this queen of wands is that queen of swords. Uh, you know, she kept her, I feel like she kept her emotions in check. She was maybe even too emotionally stoic because I feel like the queen of wands, somebody who was very passionate. So she could be seen as somebody who is on overdrive. She could be seen as somebody who is very cold because she definitely keeps her emotions. King of water, king of cups, right? He can be uh, uh, sometimes like, because they're too emotionally, um, in check, right? They don't make decisions based off of emotion. They also do it off of intellect. And that is what that eight of swords is all about. Not making a, a decision because like they can't balance out their emotions and they're like, they're, they can't get their head and their heart in alignment. Well, now we have the heart, which is the king of cups, and we have the queen of swords, which is the head. Now it's an alignment. Now it's like the truth can come out. And maybe it's, I feel like it's someone else who comes in and tells a truth. High priestess. This is all about using intuition. This is about higher knowledge. This is about, that is such a beautiful card. Fairy ring. Jumping in. Look at that. That's so gorgeous. Yeah, there's a truth. There is a definite truth. And it's been a long time coming. With that King of Cups, it's been a slow, it's been a like slow travel to get to you. To get to where you are. To illuminate somebody in this process, but listen, this queen of wands, she doesn't come out unscathed, but at the end of the day, she learns a very valuable lesson.
with the page of pentacles in the reverse, I don't know that this queen of wands is actually accepting anything, you know, that isn't emotionally fulfilling anymore. It's almost like, you know, you see those memes on, on social media right now that are like, you know, uh, one thing I've learned in 2023 is not to answer the door to tw in, in 2024 to the people who didn't have my back in 2023, you know? Uh, and I feel like, and maybe even before that, maybe this has been an ongoing thing because we do have the wheel of fortune here and the justice card. So it's like, you know, maybe for some of you, this was court, you know, you had to go to court for this to go, you know, for this surprise information to come through. And it was the key to unlocking everything that needed to be unlocked to get this moving. But again, it's almost like too little, too late. To be continued on this one, you know, I think that as things are right now, there is not enough information to go any further than what it is. I think that there will be more to this story in the future. But at the end of the day, this Queen of Wands, she's a star and I think she's a rising star at that. And I also see, see where you're going to be very content when it comes to your work. I feel like work is going to look really good for you. You could be traveling for work. You could be getting off all types of uh, offers. I feel like love offers as well. People wanting to come back in. People who have been keeping a, a, an eye on you. I feel like this is a very loaded cancer full moon. A lot of emotions coming to the surface. I'm going to leave that here because this is a long one, you guys. Holy shit, 26 minutes. I'm going to let that go. Uh, follow me over on Instagram and Facebook uh, under the Footsteps to Peace if you have not already, you guys. I love you all so much. Happy full moon in Cancer. Don't forget to you know write down all the things that you want to let go of with this full moon in Cancer, especially when it comes to the home and family. Okay, that's going to be the most important in this home and family. And if you're wanting to manifest a new home, you know, what is it that you need to let go of, you know, that is keeping you from being able to do so? Uh, so I do definitely am seeing you traveling to a new home coming soon. Uh, and I feel like you're readying yourself for that as well. You guys, I love you all so much. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information's in the description box down below. Like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. It does help my channel grow. And I will talk to you, excuse me, talk to you again soon.